So, next problem. Find the coefficient of the coefficient of x to the power of n in the power series in the power series expansion expansion of x minus 4 by x square minus 5 x plus 6 specifying specifying the reason in which in which the expansion is valid the expansion is valid so first to find out partial fractions of this one see numerator by denominator denominator is a reducible quadratic factor so let us find out the linear factors so now this x square minus 5x plus 6 can be written as x minus 2 into x minus 3 so consider x minus 4 by x minus 2 into x minus 3 equals to a by x minus 2 plus b by x minus 3. Multiply x minus 2 into x minus 3 on both sides. So, we get a of x minus 3 plus b of x minus 2 equals to x minus 4 put x is equal to 2. If you put x is equal to 2, a of 2 minus 3 equals to 2 minus 4. So, minus a equals to minus 2, a is equal to 2. Now, put x is equal to 3. If you put x is equal to 3, this becomes 0. So, this is b of 3 minus 2 equals to 3 minus 4, b equals to minus 1. Therefore, parts of reactions x minus 4 by this x square minus 5 x plus 6 equals to a by x minus 2, 2 by x minus 2. And next one is minus 1 by x minus 3. Take 2 common from this one, we get 1 minus x by 2. Minus 3 common, it becomes plus 1 by 3 of 1 minus x by 3. 2, 2 gets cancelled, this can be written 1 by 3 times. 1 minus x by 3 power minus 1, 2, 2 gets cancelled minus of 1 minus x by 2 whole to the power of minus 1. These two series are valid simultaneously when mod of x by 3 is less than 1 or that means indirectly mod of x by 2 is less than 1. So, mod of x by 2 is less than 1 that implies mod x is less than 2. So, now we write these two expansions now. Let us write these two expansions 1 by 3 times 1 plus x by 3 plus x square by 9 plus so on dash dash 
plus x by 3 whole power n plus dash dash and minus this one 1 plus x by 2 plus x square by 4 plus so on nth term x by 2 whole power n plus dash dash. Therefore, x to the power of n coefficient is equal to that is a required x to the power of n coefficient of this one 1 by 3 multiplied by that is 1 by 3 power n and minus x to the power of n coefficient of this expansion that is 1 by 2 power n. So, this is equal to 1 by 3 into 3 power n means 3 power n plus 1 minus 1 by 2 power n. Hence, it has been solved. Next fourth problem. Find the coefficient coefficient of x to the power of n in the power series in the power series in the power series expansion of expansion of 3x by x minus 1 x minus 2 whole square okay just let us find out in this one x to the power of n coefficient value so now consider 3x by x minus 1 into x minus 2 whole square this we can write a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2 plus c by x minus 2 whole square. Multiply both sides with x minus 1 into x minus 2 whole square. So, we get this one. So, better this is x minus 1 a by x minus 1. So, multiply x minus 1 into x minus 1 square. 2 square on both sides. We get a into x minus 2 square plus b of x minus 1 into x minus 2 plus c of x minus 1 which equals to 3 x. Now, put x is equal to 1. If you put x is equal to 1, this becomes 0, this becomes 0 that can be observed. So, now we get a of 1 minus 2 whole square equals to 3 times 1. This is a, so equal to 3, a is equal to 3. Now, put x is equal to 2. If you put x is equal to 2, what do you get? What we will get? This becomes 0, this becomes 0. c of 2 minus 1 equals to 6. So, c equals to 6. Now, comparing or equating x square coefficients, x square coefficients on both sides, on both sides. So, that means here x square into a, a, x square into b, b, a plus b equals to in right hand side there is no x square coefficient that means x square coefficient is absent whenever x square coefficient is absent we have to take it as x square coefficient 0 so a plus b is equal to 0 now we know a value 3 since a equal to 3 so 3 plus b equals to 0 b equals to minus 3 now we can write the partial fractions of 3x by x minus 1 into x minus 2 whole square. 3x by x minus 1 into x minus 2 whole square. 
a a means 3 3 by x minus 1 minus 3 by x minus 2 plus 6 by x minus 2 whole square. Now, this can be written as 3 by minus common 1 minus x again minus 2 common minus 3 by 1 minus x by 2. Here this can be take minus 2 common that becomes 4 only plus 6 of 4 times 1 minus x by 2 whole square. So, now 2, 2 ja, 2, 3 ja. This can be written now. So, minus 3 of 1 minus x whole to the power of minus 1. This is plus 3 by 2 of 1 minus x by 2 power minus 1. This can be written plus 3 by 2 of 1 minus x by 2 whole power minus 2. So, let us expand them to get the x to the power of n coefficient. So, now this equal to minus 3 times 1 plus x plus x square plus dash dash x to the power of n so on dash dash infinity plus 3 by 2 into 1 plus x by 2 plus x by 2 whole square plus so on dash dash x by 2 power n plus dash dash infinity and plus 3 by 2 this will be 1 plus 2 into x by 2 plus 3 into x by 2 whole square plus dash dash plus n plus 1 into x by 2 whole power n dash dash infinity. Therefore, x to the power of n coefficient is equal to minus 3 times x to the power of n coefficient 1 plus 3 by 2 into x to the power of n coefficient is 1 by 2 power n and plus 3 by 2 into x to the power of n coefficient of that one here. So, this one. So, n plus 1 by 2 power n. So, this is equal to minus 3 plus 3 by 2 power n plus 1. This is plus 3 times n plus 1 by 2 power n plus 1. So, hence it has been solved.